Hey guys, welcome to the first Maths A lesson of the year. We're starting uh, the year with perimeter, which is uh, the distance around the boundary of a shape. Now, a lot of you are probably going to say, oh, well, this is really easy, finding the perimeter of a shape. It actually gets a bit harder than you would expect when we get to some more complicated shapes. Uh, but let's start off with the basics. Uh, let's say I have a, a rectangular house and I'm gonna draw a little red circle to represent uh, you so you are walking around the house so let's say you walk down one side down the other side come all the way back and back to your original spot now the distance you have walked would be the perimeter of the house so that's what perimeter is a lot of people get it confused with area, which is the space inside the house. This has nothing to do with how much space is in the house, but the distance around the house. Okay, the units for measuring perimeter. So, uh, because uh, perimeter is uh, another word for it really is distance, right? Because you're calculating how long it is. Um, you're measuring how long it is. So there are four different units for measuring perimeter. The biggest one is kilometer. And kilometer is uh, usually used to measure the distance between, uh, so it's used to measure the distance between uh, suburbs, cities, and so on. So pretty big, pretty big unit. Right. For example, the distance from Brisbane to the Gold Coast is probably a couple of a hundred kilometers or something like that. Uh, meters, um, that's like the height of a building. Right. So the tallest building in the world in Dubai is like 700 meters or something like that. Um, centimeters, uh, that's like um, just the length of your ruler. Right, most rulers are 15 to 30 centimeters. Uh, millimeters, that's like uh, the length of uh, the width of your fingernail. So something really small or the length of an ant or something like that. Uh, now the hard part is converting uh, between them. So uh, I'm just going to clear this up to draw a ladder of conversion. So how do you convert between the different units? Well, let's start off with our most uh, familiar uh, one. So one meter is equal to a hundred centimeters. So if somebody says to you, uh, how do you go from meter to centimeters? What you would do is you would multiply by a hundred. So let me use a different color. So from meters to centimeters, you would multiply by a hundred. From kilometers to meters, you would multiply by a thousand. Right, one kilometer is a thousand meters. And then from centimeter to millimeters, you would multiply by 10. And then if you're going backwards from meters to kilometers, is you would divide it by a thousand. From centimeters to meters, you would divide it by a hundred. And from millimeters to centimeters, you would divide by 10. Now it all seems really easy, but unless you uh, memorize this, uh, you probably won't get it right in the test. So I would suggest that you memorize this ladder, make sure you can draw it out yourself, and then uh, be able to use it in uh, <coughs> doing the questions. So let's say uh, the first question says, Actually, I'm just going to write out some questions. Okay, the first one. 44 meters is how many centimeters? Now, using the ladder, let's identify our starting point. Our starting point is 
meters. So let's circle meters on the ladder. And our destination is centimeters. So we want to go to centimeters. So we want to go from meter to centimeter. We're going downwards. So we follow the downward arrow and it's times 100. So this is the one we want. So we're going to conduct times 100 to 44 and we get 4,400 centimeters. All right, so that is the answer. Okay, let's do the second one. Uh, 56,000 meters is how many kilometers? Now I'm going to use a different colored pen. So we're starting with meters. So let's circle that. We got meters. We want to go to kilometers, which is here. So we're going upwards. So we're going to divide by a thousand. So 56,000 divided by a thousand. So we cross out the three zeros, we get 56 kilometers. So that's the answer there.